Hey everyone, welcome back. I have Hugo Alonso from Stay Winning Podcast as one of my weekly guests. And I think this is going really well. I think we're getting a lot of feedback and people are enjoying it. Um, today, we're going to kind of talk about um, how to level up you know, your kind of network or your surroundings and uh, kind of some steps to do that. So welcome back, Hugo. Hey, what's up, Mark? Thank you for having me. I can hear you loud and clear. Hopefully everyone tuning into the video can go ahead and do the same. Yeah, you had to call me out on it. Huh? <laughs> I, I have been having issues with my mic. I, I think I figured it out. I, I was goofing around with it the other, other week and trying to make it better, but apparently it, it made it worse. So yeah. You're loud and clear now, man. Thank you. All right, cool. Cool. Yeah, you want to start first then? So the first way to level up your circle. Yeah, personally for me, what I did is I noticed where people would invite me to, right? So if they would just invite me to the bars or to go out, it would say a lot of how they would view me. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all down to party, but... I'd rather invest money and make money than go and waste money. The bar is always going to be there. So for anyone listening, there's a way to level up your circle. Um, notice where your friends invite you to. And if it's always the bar, at least personally for me, I think I could do better without those quote unquote friends. So that would be one way I would say to level up your circle, level up your net worth, your network. So if they're just inviting you to the bars, maybe it's time to outgrow those people, being that your dreams are much bigger and much more meaningful and purposeful uh, than just going out of the bar and and failing. Oh, man, I would have been a bad influence on you then back in the day. That, that's, that was my my thing back, back, you know, 15, 20 years ago was was just, um, you know, going to the bars a lot, partying and, and you know, he said it's having fun, but. Now that yeah, I look yeah. back on it, yeah, now that I look back on it, it, it definitely, um, you know, like I said, I missed out on a lot of opportunities, I think. Yeah, nothing wrong with going out of the bars and, and partying, and I know certain friends are fun for that. You know, just don't let it interfere with your dreams. So let's say, like, I know sometimes we toot about weekends are for grinding or weekends are to work on your dream. Like, if you're going to go out and party Friday night, don't let it interrupt your Saturday morning workflow. Uh, you know, so something like that. So again, nothing wrong with partying. I'm down to party with you guys. <laughs> so don't get me wrong on that. It's just notice where people invite you. And if it's always a bar and how often it is, you know, there's no need to go to the bar for Taco Tuesday and for Wine Wednesday and for Wayne Thursday and College Girl Friday or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, the one thing that I think for me, it's definitely like I still go out, you know, hang out with my friends. But definitely the non-alcohol part of it, I think, is a big part of it for me now. It's just like you're saying, you can go out Friday night, but then if it, you know, Saturday now, you're just not functioning very well, kind of, you know, it hurts the whole weekend. I think that's really kind of what helps me is I, you know, I stop drinking and, you know, I can still go out Friday night and it's like, you know, you still get home reasonable time. and But now you can still wake up and do what you had planned for the weekend. Yeah, exactly. So business before pleasure. Uh, what about you, Mark? What would you add uh, as one tip to level up your circle or or grow your your network? I think for me, what I really noticed was kind of what people are doing, maybe with their free time or when they're you know sitting alone or by themselves. It's kind of just kind of paying attention to what they're doing. If they're you know sitting on their phone playing video games or uh, you know scrolling social media, then you know it kind of makes me realize that you know, my time could be better used or something that I'm like you saying, following your dreams or following your passion or whatever side hustle you're working on. And that's what I notice is uh, people that are, have this kind of vision of getting somewhere down the road. Um, you know, their free time is, is spent hustling basically. Yeah. And that goes to the, the previous um, episode that we did uh, as far as working on your passion or something you're passionate about. It doesn't even seem to work. It's just fun. It's just second nature to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's a good one. I do notice people play video games on their phone. There's nothing wrong with that. I know there's probably a place and time for that. Like say like an airplane uh, where there's really limited options or or waiting at a doctor's office when you know they're going to call you up in any minute. You know, maybe those places are, are good for video games on your phone. But I do see 
myself, shying away from people that just spend time playing games on their phone. Even when we're out, there's been times where we're on a social setting and they're playing Candy Crush on their phone. And I'm just like, all right, let's say we're done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, another thing too is for me, it's kind of what, you know, you kind of talk about and talk about in a group setting. Like I never really paid attention to it too much. Like even, uh, you know, the economy, you know, government stuff. But I'm finding that I enjoy being around groups of people that are discussing those type of things. And it's really eye opening to me. Like, like I said, you know, I, I never paid attention to a lot of this stuff. And, um, and you realize like how, I guess, maybe blind you are in a sense. Yeah, that's a good one that you bring up too. So for anyone listening, uh, I think there's a lot of value that Mark added there. Just to take it a step further, right? I know it's cliche to say, you know, your friends should be discussing real estate, businesses, and things like that. And that's all fine, and that's true, but it's not going to be like that 100% of the time. Like, I'm down to go enjoy a taco with you on Tuesday. Um, but certain topics, right? It's like, I don't care what the Kardashians are doing. Like, <laughs> You know, uh, tell me about, you know, how much Hungary helped to Hawaii instead. Right. Something much more meaningful, much more impactful than whatever toilet is posted on her Instagram this week. So things like that, just where, where people focus their attention to and how much meaningful that is. Um, I think personally right now, I even deactivated my Instagram because too many people are just sending me things like, look at this meme, look at this reel. I can go about my day without looking at that meme. Nothing's going to change. I'm not going to be uncool because I don't know what's trending. I'm too busy making these videos with Mark, putting them in short form, tweeting about it, adding more value to, to the world. Uh, so in case you're looking for me on, on Instagram, I'm not there for that reason. So that's another way I would say, uh, just to add to what Mark was saying, to level up your circle and your your network is is notice what people pay attention to and what they'd like to discuss. Um, poor minds discuss people. And rich minds discuss ideas. It's funny you bring that up, but you actually, so one of my other guests that I usually have on weekly, um, Sierra Smith, um, Sun Peak official, she actually jumped back onto or Twitter or X because of our conversation the other week about how you were saying, you know, there's no monetization there for you. So that's why you're focusing more on YouTube, um, you know, Twitter. And she's like, you know, that makes a lot of sense. You know, like, where is your time being spent? And so that's why she reactivated her account there. And she's, you know, trying to build something on that side also now. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I think she followed me. I followed her back. Um, for anyone tuning in, let that be an example of a network. Uh, right here, we're all networking with Mark's other guest. We may not know them personally, but, you know, they're cool with Mark. They're cool with me. Uh, because I know we're all on that same level, on that same grind just to get to that next level. Um, so thank you for bringing that up, Mark. That That's pretty cool. I'm glad someone is listening into what we had to provide and and making sense of what we try to make sense of. Yeah. And another, another comment I saw in one of our videos, and they maybe they wanted us to touch on it a little bit more, was I think I asked you, and this kind of relates to this, about you know, watching, you know, Netflix or, or television in your free time I, and how you felt about that. And you want to kind of touch on that a little bit again? Yeah, I think I did see that comment. So for anyone wondering or hasn't caught up on that video, I have, I, I watch Netflix and, you know, they compare Paramount and what's the other one, Hulu and Amazon Prime. Yeah, I probably watch two to four hours a day of it, actually. Um, but as we mentioned in that video, it's what you do in those in the time that you do put the work in. So in the five hour period, I can tweet a hundred times and, and edit a video. Then I feel less guilty about watching back to back to back episodes of Seinfeld on Netflix. <laughs> you know, each episode is 20 minutes and I probably watch four or five of them. So easily an hour, two hours there that go by. Um so if you haven't tuned into that video, go ahead and do so. We talk about other important stuff. To the person that left the comment, thank you so much. So if you do want to watch Netflix, that's fine. Go ahead and do so. At the same time, be conscious of what you consume. Um, I stay away from reality TV just because 
one, it's not so real anymore. And two, like, like, like selling sunset, for example, right? I tuned into selling sunset to check out the real estate, and then now it's like twenty percent real estate and eighty percent drama. And I'm like, all right, I'll just, I'll just go look at my own real estate now. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 fix and flip shows and everything, right? It's kind of like you say, it's not too real anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's not too real anymore. So be conscious of what you do consume. So if there's someone that you know, I don't, I'm not a fan of the word influencer or content creator, but if that's what you want to label Mark and I, um, um, yeah, be aware and being 100% transparent. I do watch and I do stream Netflix, Amazon Prime. Um, I even have my own films on Amazon Prime and Netflix. So if you want to watch my movies, um, you know, send me a message and, and I'll let you know what movies I'm in there and you can stream. And if you stream, I might get a residual check. So I don't know. Let me know. But yeah, I do stream. And I'm just very conscious of what I do when I'm in front of a computer and in front of a desk. And I make sure to get the most out in those four or five, six hours. And I can make sure that at the end of the day, I'm beating out someone that says they worked for 12 hours because I know I went double time over time in that five, six hour period. So I can enjoy my afternoons. And as I mentioned on this video or on that video, guys, Mark, Mark has me working the latest. <laughs> Well, I, you know, we're, we have to compromise a little bit, you know, we, our, our time zones are different. Yeah, yeah. A little compromise, a little sacrifice, uh, but it's all worth it, right? So if we, you're talking about leveling up your network, uh, Mark is definitely, you know, someone you guys can use to level up. Um, so, yeah, it is fun. Um, but, yeah, tune into that episode. I think it provides great information. And then just keep in mind, 100 percent transparent. I do stream. I just make sure that when I'm working. I don't even look at my phone during that time or answer it. Even if my mom calls, I don't, I don't pick up. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think for me, the only thing is like you're saying you, is how efficient you are with the rest of your time. And sometimes you do got to make sacrifices. Like for me, you know, maybe I only have an hour or so a day to be able to watch um, or stream something on the TV so my son, if he's with me, you know, that's kind of maybe when we have to compromise and we're going to, you know, typically we're going to watch what he wants to watch, but that's how I spend that time. Right. So yeah, yeah. You're saying there's nothing wrong with streaming, but you do have to kind of, you know, be conscious of how efficient you are being with the rest of the time that you do have. Exactly. Well said. Yeah. That's a great example. Yeah. I love. Do you have any more tips, you know, to level up? As far as how to level up, I mean, me personally out here, and I got tired of people telling me to meet me at their parents' house. I'm like, you're pushing 40. Why am I going to meet you over there? Um, and then there's times where I realize, like, how do I know these people? Like, why am I still friends with these people? And then I remember, oh, yeah, you grew up in the hood, Hugo. <laughs> so these people have known you since literally day one. And, and But, you know, there's a time and place for everything. Um, a lot of them don't even know that I do stay winning podcasts because they're not that type of people. So I'm just like, why am I going to hold my breath? Uh, but for the people that do follow me, thank you for your support. Um, you motivate me to continue making content for you every day. Uh, and I think I'm doing a good job because we see your feedback in the videos. And that survey I held up on Twitter, you guys thought there was three of me. So that's a huge compliment. Thank you. I do have a full-time job. So when you think there's three of you making content, then, you know, let that be an example to the previous uh, tip. Uh, just being productive on the time that you do allow for your for your dreams, for your crowd, for your side hustle, for your business, however you want to word it. Yeah. I, yeah, you're, you have great stuff you're putting. So you do all your editing yourself? Yeah. So actually, I, I do do all the editing myself. Uh, for those who don't know, I have a, a degree in radio, television, and film. So... I actually just recently upgraded software. So you start seeing more professional cinematic looking stuff. Um, I just invested about another $1,200 into studio stuff. So expect a different background and, and more editing stuff. And if you thought I was doing work before, you're just going to see that I'm going to do so much work now. Um, I did reach a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'm about 800 hours away from meeting the second quota for monetization. Uh, right now, I'm averaging about 20 to 30 hours of watch time a day. So thank you, everyone. That's really motivating. As I mentioned, yeah, I can put six hours a day into this craft. Um, but it's really rewarding knowing that I'm getting 20, 30 times that, you know, five times that back 
uh, when I'm getting 30 hours a day. So hopefully I can be uh, at least sticker and comment monetized uh, by the end of this month. So thank you everyone for that. I'm sorry, what was the question, Mark? <laughs> uh, I don't even, oh, was there any more tips to, to level up? Any more tips oh, to no, level no, up? No, 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 I asked you about editing. Did you do all your Oh, editing? yeah, yeah. So yeah. I do all my editing. Um, and I'm I'm going to, I just upgraded the software. So I will still continue to do my own editing. Um, and it will be, I think, a lot more professional looking. Um, a lot more quality uh, being put out for you. So I do do my own editing. But I just switched to a new software and a new laptop. So it can handle all that rendering. Do you like doing the editing yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, if there's one thing that takes the most time from all this is the editing, actually. Editing takes the most time. Um, I know there's a lot of automated tools now, um, but I guess maybe it's just the way I speak. It never picks up my vocabulary accurately. So I always have to go in there and edit it <laughs> extra to make sure it's accurate so it reflects <laughs> correctly on the screen for you guys um even if it's just a bow off so i do do all my own editing and no it's not fun uh somewhere down the line maybe i can hire an editor uh, so we'll see about that maybe someone in my old film school let me know show me what you got uh what about you mark you do your own editing yeah i do it for now <laughs> i mean i actually enjoy it just kind of learning it and how to how to work all the different softwares and whatnot so it's for now it's fun yeah i, I kind of enjoy it but like you're saying it, it, it is the most work out of all of it even if you know putting the content out there i mean recording stuff is fairly you know easy you know just record hit, press record but as far as editing and, and trying to make it hopefully you know attract people or, or you know create some kind of um following from it then that, that to me that's kind of the tricky part yeah I'm hoping on mine, uh, now that I get this monetization on YouTube, I can just go live. Mm. Um, so maybe we can do this on my channel pretty soon, Mark. Oh, and yeah, then we'll just, we'll just take questions live from people. Yeah. Have, them, have them put us on the spot, you know? Yeah. I, I think that's <laughs> like, you know, that's super helpful too, because it makes you become a better, maybe investor or, you know, know a lot more about, the economy and whatnot because if people are going to ask you questions live i mean you kind of you got to kind of give some feedback right there yeah yeah i'll keep me i'll keep my mind going i'll keep me young mentally if i have to just like boom you know here we go yeah you know before we wrap up though you know kind of want to get back to kind of tips to level up my question though is like how young were you, I guess, when you maybe realized it, it's kind of, you know, surrounding yourself with certain people and, you know, being efficient with your time and what you're doing with your free time? I was very young, actually. Um, just to give everyone a glimpse of my neighborhood, right? I grew up in a, in a city where nine out of 10 male students don't graduate high school. So you can imagine they either end up in prison you know, moved away, deported in some reason, in some occasions, um, arrested, you know, in jail, six feet under all of the above, right? So very early on, I mean, it did feel kind of cool to be like, oh, you know, your shaved head and your baggy pants back in the in the 90s. But if there was something cooler that I thought, it was money. I thought money was way cooler than all of that. Uh, so at a very early age, I, I want to say there's a specific age but maybe somewhere in the transition between elementary school and middle school is where I didn't officially know, you know, you're like the five people you surround yourself with the most. I didn't officially know that, but I just knew I had to be around better people and better influences. And that wasn't readily available. So if you guys listen to our previous episodes, you can see it was all about me being alone. But that's where the most growth came from. And I'm so comfortable being alone now. So, yeah, very early age, probably no more than sixth or seventh grade, the latest. Yeah, I really like that. Like you're talking about being alone and you kind of learn a lot about yourself and really helps you level up, I think, is just like you're saying, it's, you know, being by yourself. I mean, you can get a lot done and you really learn a lot about yourself, too. So, yeah, I really enjoy that. Yeah, I really do enjoy being alone. 
it's very peaceful. I've noticed a lot of times I've seen people stress and it has to do with other people, not even them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm less stressed because, you know, maybe there's less people. I don't know. Um, but I do know being alone has built a mental stamina for me that I've seen um, can take me to new places. Right. So success is directly correlated with how much stress you can handle. I think um, growing up in a single parent family home and having to face all those things alone uh, really put me in a good position now to not be scared of anything, to take risk, to keep moving forward, to grow and to be the best version of myself that I can be. So let's kind of touch on. So you mentioned YouTube getting monetized or mm -hmm. close to being monetized. So. How many Pretty hours closer. away did you say that you were? <clears throat> a little bit less than 800. So how long is it probably your videos, your average video? Oh, uh, probably like five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so I will be opening up my podcast to guests now. Uh, that should create longer content similar to what we're doing here. So if you want to be a guest on my podcast, feel free to reach out. I'll have a form ready on my link in bio. You can fill out and then we'll coordinate the time from there. So I'm starting to set that up now just because I feel before the end of the month, I will hit that mark where I can start taking tips for live content. Any type of um, specific, I guess, maybe areas that you're going to be focusing on or is this kind of side hustles maybe? Oh, as far as who I'm interviewing? Yeah. Like what they're bringing to the table? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyone that has a cool story to share, All right. um, obviously related mostly to, to finance and and business and crypto and real estate. Uh, but then you'll have those other stories of people uh, overcoming a lot of hurdles. And if I can provide a platform where someone doesn't have to feel so alone and now there's someone else with a similar story, then, you know, I'm all for that. It's just... Helping people stay winning. I love it. Yeah. So people reach out, go find them on YouTube, fill out his bio or link in his bio. But there's also something on, I think, Twitter or X you're coming out with soon too, right? I think oh, yes. Yes. Um, so as I mentioned, right, I recently invested like another $1,200 into uh, stuff. So right now on X, you can enter and host spaces from your mobile phone. There is a third-party software that you can download to your PC that gives you the mobile version of Twitter on your desktop. So it allows you to be able to do spaces from your computer versus your phone. Uh, the benefit of that is a better microphone and a better screen or multiple screens to be able to watch notes and and entertain people more. So I did buy a, an audio mixer that I'll be using and hooking up this microphone here. Um, so that would be Twitter Spaces or X Spaces, however it's called now. And for that, I'm actually open to a co-host, maybe not permanently, but you know, just rotate them out. So if you're also trying to get practice on interviewing or just wanna put yourself out there a little more or the whole theme of this video or today, right, or this topic is level up your network. Um, yeah, I'm opening the door for you guys so you can go ahead and come and do that with me. So thank you, Mark, for reminding me of that. No, yeah, I saw it and I was like, man, I must have missed that one that you, that you posted out there. But yeah, go check him out, everyone. Great stuff, great content. Help him get his 8,000 hours and, and or yeah, no, 800 hours, 800 hours. And yeah, we'll do this again, Hugo. I love it. Yeah, man. Maybe I'll see you on Spaces and, and you can help me co-host there. He, well, yeah, I got to get a microphone or something, right? I got to make sure my, my mic is working. Yeah, that's true, man. Yeah. <laughs> Level All up right, your man. mic. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Yeah.